President Trump is expressing full confidence in National Security Advisor Mike Flynn this morning amid calls from Democrats for an investigation. It comes after revelations Flynn discussed U.S. sanctions against Russia with a Russian diplomat before Mr. Trump took office. Jeff Pegues has the latest. In late December, investigators say retired General Michael Flynn discussed U.S. sanctions against Russia in a phone call with Ambassador Sergei Kislyak. A law enforcement source tells CBS News that the FBI and other intelligence agencies gathered the information through ongoing electronic surveillance of Russian officials and suspected spies. The timing of the call raised eyebrows. The Obama administration had just imposed new sanctions on Russia and expelled 35 diplomats because of the Kremlin's alleged meddling in the U.S. election. But Russian President Vladimir Putin did not retaliate, something President-elect Trump tweeted was very smart. The Trump administration has acknowledged Flynn's phone calls with the Russian ambassador, but had denied that sanctions were discussed. Vice President Mike Pence appeared on Face the Nation last month. It was strictly coincidental that they had a conversation. They did not discuss anything having to do with uh, the United States' decision to uh, expel diplomats or, or uh, impose a censure against Russia. The source close to Mr. Pence stressed that the vice president's statement was based on what General Flynn personally told him. At the White House, the two briefly shook hands before a press conference. Flynn has been a paid consultant for Russia Today. Michael Flynn, A cable channel the Obama administration labeled a propaganda arm of the Kremlin. He also sat next to Putin at a gala in 2015. A White House official tells CBS News General Flynn does not recall and cannot be 100% certain whether sanctions were discussed on the call. Aboard Air Force One on Friday, President Trump said that he had not seen the stories about his national security advisor, but that he would look into it. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Jeff Begay's Washington.